the Husky Lab Mix can be a brilliant pet for the right home. We are going to take a look at whether your lifestyle is a good fit for this active, energetic mixed breed. Helping you to decide whether this puppy is the best choice for you, and giving you the information you need to raise them right. Before I move on with the video, do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that would help you have a well-behaved, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique cheat sheet is available for free only for a limited time from the link in the description box below. Origin of the Husky Lab Mix Mixed breed Labrador Husky puppies always have one parent who is a Labrador Retriever and one parent who is a Siberian Husky. It doesn't really matter which parent is which. What is important here is that each parent is a purebred dog of one of those breeds. Husky Lab Mixed Temperament Lab Husky Mixed Temperament is where you will find the most uncertainty, since any puppy can tend more towards the temperament of one parent breed or the other. That means that there is a range of potential Labrador and Husky Mixed Temperaments that are possible in any Labsky puppy. Your puppy may exhibit a calmer Labrador temperament or a more high-strung Husky temperament. While they are likely to be smart, Husky Lab mixed puppies could take after the lab parent and be a quick, eager learner during training. Or they could be more stubborn and even inconsistent, like the Husky parent. Husky Lab mixed personality a Huskador puppy could also have a more reserved personality, like a Husky. Alternatively, you could end up with a naturally exuberant lab-leaning pup that reminds you of the canine star of Marley and me. Labs tend to bark only as needed. Huskies, on the other hand, tend to bark at anything and everything. Your pup could fall anywhere in between the two. Digging is another issue, as huskies are big on digging. Labs are known for chewing on anything they can find, which could also be an issue for your Siberian retriever. Overall, neither of the parent breeds are aggressive, so it's unlikely that your labski mix will be so. He will likely be very loyal and somewhat protective, however. Socialization is an important part of raising a well-behaved member of any breed or mix. Lab Husky Mix Socialization Speaking of socialization, it's important to fully socialize your puppy. From the day you bring him or her home, have plenty of visitors to the home. Take your Huskador to a number of different locations to familiarize him with other environments. Try to get your pup to meet as many different people, vehicles and animals as possible. Socialization is important to the well-being and good behavior of every breed, even ultra-friendly labs. Huskies, as mentioned, tend to be a bit more reserved, so socialization is vital for this mix. Huskador exercise. The Husky Lab mix comes from two active, energetic, working dog breed parents. Boredom can be a real problem for these dogs, as they are literally bred to stay active all day, every day. Often, they perform very physically demanding jobs so you can pretty much count on the need to keep your Siberian Husky Lab mixed dog active and busy. 
otherwise, she may develop her own itinerary of fun activities to pursue. Lab Husky mixed dogs also have webbed paws and a natural love of water. Swimming is a great activity for them. So is any game of fetch that involves retrieving a bobbing toy from the water. Lab Husky Mix Life Expectancy Generally speaking, the Labrador Retriever has a life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. The Siberian Husky, in turn, has an average lifespan of 11 to 13 years. These statistics would indicate a lab and husky mix might live anywhere from 10 to 13 years, which is generally considered an accurate lifespan range for these designer dogs. Half husky half lab shedding. If there is one fact nearly all lab husky mix dog owners agree on, it is this, the labsky dog tends to shed. A lot. The reason for this is simple, the Siberian Husky grows a double-thick coat as protection against the freezing Siberian climate. This means that even a Lab Husky mix who inherits more Lab traits will still shed more than your average Labrador, although likely less than your average Husky. Now, if your dog inherits more Husky traits, you can look forward to a jaw-dropping level of shedding at least twice a year as your pup sheds his thick undercoat and prepares to regrow it. Do Lab Husky mixes make good family pets? Both Labradors and Huskies make excellent, loyal, affectionate pets for a family home. However, Consideration should be given to whether or not you have the time and ability to ensure your dog gets enough exercise. Environment, additionally, plays a part. If you live in a more tropical climate that stays warm to hot year-round, a shorter-haired pup can be a more compassionate choice. And as you can see, this simply isn't a suitable pet dog choice for a sedentary owner. Huskadors don't just love to exercise, they need daily vigorous activity to stay healthy in body and mind as well as to stay out of trouble. But if your family can dedicate enough time each day to play with and exercise your Huskador, this mix could be a great choice for you. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.